Hello everyone. It's James again. And in today's video I want to talk about loneliness and its effects on you. Your brain. And your overall health. And though this video is targeted towards men. This video can truthfully help and benefit anyone. However. I will say this. The reason why this is targeted towards men. Is for one. This is a channel mainly to help out men that have been abused. And two. Due to the way divorces and breakups tend to happen, it usually leaves the man in a stressful financial and emotional situation more so than the woman, and even isolated from loving relationships with his children, and due to these unfair situations, many men are rightfully scared to start another relationship with a woman, and are so bombarded with so many stressors it becomes impossible to do so, which all of this leads to isolation and loneliness. Now don't get me wrong. I often tell men here to spend some time alone. Get to be your best friend. And learn to find out who you really are. And don't become dependent on being with a woman for your happiness. And having that alone time is good and needed. But the truth of the matter too much of it can and will affect you for the negative. And this is the reason I believe many men make the foolhardy mistakes of not protecting themselves when they meet the next woman that comes by. Or they end up falling for someone that is clearly bad news but can't or won't see the glaring red flags waving all over the darn place. It's because studies show that love deeply and positively affects the reward portion of your brain. It affects the brain the same way that drugs like cocaine would or other powerful pain relievers. And because we are social beings the feeling of love and acceptance is a feeling that we need to survive otherwise there can be adverse effects on your brain and overall health. The professor of psychology at State University of New York states, the reason why people are so addicted to cocaine is that it activates the area of the brain that makes you feel good. The same reward area is activated when people are experiencing the intense desire of romantic love. Now if this and other doctors and researchers come to the same conclusion that love produces drug-like effects that are as strong as cocaine. And we know cocaine to be highly addictive. Then it will be just a matter of time before someone is wanting to seek out another relationship even when that person may be bad for them. Because one can only be isolated so long before it gets to them. And either they fall apart and crumble or they frantically try to re-enter having a social life without having good boundaries. And because this I believe that such people that try to do such things end up at risk at being taken or abused by another toxic partner. Because their need for love is so great because they have none in their life. They are ready to latch on to the first person that appears to be a good source of this love they are so desperately seeking. This is why I do not agree with men going the route of forced loneliness because this route is not something that is normal for human beings as a whole. As everyone needs and craves to have some sort of loving relationships. The key is to not be starving for it. And to make sure you are in a healthy frame of mind. And you create normal friendship bonds with people. All the while having the ability to protect yourself if one of these people reveals themselves to be toxic. Psychologist John Cacioppo of the University of Chicago has been studying and tracking the effects of loneliness. And during these studies he reported that loneliness works in some surprising ways to compromise health. Some of this findings include. Lonely individuals report higher levels of perceived stress even when exposed to the same stressors as non-lonely people. Even when they are relaxing, the social interactions lonely people have are not as positive as those that are non-lonely. Hence the relationships they have do not buffer them from stress as relationships normally do. Loneliness raises levels of circulating stress hormones and levels of blood pressure. It undermines regulation of the circulatory system so that the heart muscle works harder and the blood vessels are subject to damage by blood flow turbulence. Loneliness destroys the quality and efficiency of sleep, so that it is less restorative, both physically and psychologically. They wake up more at night and spend less time in bed actually sleeping than do the non-lonely. He also found links to suicide for young and old alike. This is why I try to give you hope and try to give you positive things to think about. And though I have to outline and talk about some negative things from time to time, in the hopes to expose how men can be and are indeed abused in many cases, I try to give you a possible solution to your problem. And that is to protect yourself and still live your life. 
to not hide inside of a turtle shell so to speak and avoid dating women though things may appear to be stacked against you. You just need to be proactive in self-protection and learning to detect the warning signs of a toxic woman. And even when you find a woman that is good you still need to have a mechanism in place to protect you and your assets just in case she changes her mind on you and things go wrong. Because by doing so you are giving yourself not only the chance to live, but also to have minimal negative effects to you if a relationship goes bad. And you are able to leave the relationship once toxic signs are revealed, and by doing so you make yourself available and open to real love as opposed to being either isolated or stuck in an abusive relationship. Have you ever heard that love and good words and kind warm phrases can help make plants grow? Yet hateful words and phrases can make plants wilt, if a man comes home and hears how much of a loser his wife thinks he is. Trust me it does nothing but beat him apart and kill him from the inside out. However if he comes home and his wife greets him with a bright smile, a kiss, and words of love and care, he gets a tingle on his brain and feels like he can take on the world, and loneliness may be different than having someone hurl horrible words at you. But just the same it appears your body still produces more stress hormones and is at risk for serious health issues, just like the saying goes. If old people have a reason to live in someone there that loves them, they will keep going on longer and living strong even in their old age. But the minute you put them in a nursing home, with no love, shuffled around from room to room, they hang on for a matter of months or a couple of years then they die. Because there is no love keeping them going. And activating the proper reward centers of the brain that dulls the pain and makes them feel strong again and having sense of purpose. The key thing you can learn from this is never put yourself in a situation of being desperate for love. And isolating yourself is doing just that. Because eventually you will crack and seek out the first bit of love you can find and chances are it will be false, toxic, and someone that is bad for you. However. Creating a healthy lifestyle of spending time with good people. Getting out of the house. Joining groups. And yes dating. You just have to remember to have self-protection plans in place and learn the signs of someone that is toxic. And cut that person out of your life before they get a foothold. And just move on. And by having an active life these toxic people won't be missed. And you will have a life that is full of cheer and good times. Never let someone tell you to not protect yourself with prenups or other legal documents. As I have known folks that have gotten them and some that haven't. And despite what others may say regarding the success rate for them are. The ones that I know that have gotten them walked away darn near the same out of the relationship as they walked into to it. And they were able to easily resume their life with minimal if any setbacks. Which led to less isolation and loneliness. So always protect yourself. Don't live as if everything is doom and gloom. This is why though I talk a lot about men that are abused. I try to get these same men to fix themselves up a bit. To work out. To eat right. And to build an awesome masculine body. To educate themselves and to find ways to better their lives. To find their passions and to go for them. No matter it be opening up their own business or anything else worthwhile. I try to get guys to put on their best shirt their best pair of pants. Get a hair cut and put their best foot forward in life. That best foot that leads to interactions and opens up a world of possibilities to them. To not be afraid of failing at what you do because those failures in the long run may bring them some of their biggest successes. And most importantly to look at themselves and know they are worth just as much as the person standing next to them. And that person next to that person. And so on and so forth. And with the right approach self-discovery and self-betterment you won't be alone. But those that don't want to better themselves, and those that drop their guard to everyone one that comes by because society tells you you have to, and the ones afraid of their own shadows are the ones that will remain and will be alone, and I for one don't want that to be you. Because being alone forever as we have seen can make life short and not as pleasurable. And we are all worth having happiness in our lives, like I always say. Knowledge is power, the more we know. The more we can step up to life's challenges and come out victorious. Happy. Healthy. And full of love that friendship and companionship has to offer us. Until next time. Thank you for your support. Bye for now.
and be good to yourself.